Out to the latest in the deadly limousine crash in upstate New York. State police arrested the son of the limo company owner. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor here now with the charges he faces. Alice. Maurice and Christine Nauman Hussein is the operator of Prestige Limo. The company is owned by his father, who is currently out of the country. State police took the 28-year-old into custody following a traffic stop today. He is now charged in connection with the crash that killed 20 people. The sole responsibility for that motor vehicle being on the road on Saturday rests with Naman Hussein. New York State Police say Naman Hussein is charged with criminally negligent homicide and was issued written violations from the State Department of Transportation and State Police, violations they say Hussein knew about before the crash. The driver he hired should not have been operating the type of vehicle involved in Saturday's crash. Also, that vehicle was placed out of service by the Department of Transportation in September of this year and should not have been on the road. The lawyer for Hussein insists the vehicle's problems were corrected. There was a latch on the back window, for example, that needed to be fixed. There was a brake line that was hanging loose. They were told to fix these things and the car was fine. State officials say that is false. On Saturday, 20 people were killed in upstate Scoharry after the limo carrying people to a birthday party drove through a stop sign and crashed into a ditch. All 18 people in the limo and two pedestrians were killed. I have to stand for him because nobody else will. Kim Lissanikia is the widow of limo driver Scott Lissanikia, who was not licensed to drive the large passenger vehicle. Even if he didn't have the proper license, this still would have happened. And I feel like he still would have got blamed. He was in excellent health. He was an excellent driver. For over 20 plus years, he drove a tractor trailer. That's why I know something was wrong. She says her husband expressed concerns about the safety of the company's vehicles. Like I overheard him say, I'm not going to drive this like this. You need to give me another car. I feel for these victims. I just want my husband to be vindicated. Now, Hussein will be arraigned this evening. His father, the owner of Prestige Limo, remains out of the country. The investigation is ongoing. Christine?